Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the single fold bias binder. And I like to use that a lot of times for putting on uh, collars, you know, just rib collars on, on knit shirts. Um, and anytime you want to just put binding uh, along the edge of a piece of fabric. And what it's really, what I especially like this for is to creating Hong Kong seams because it really makes a beautiful seam for like an unlined jacket. And so it, it makes it very easily. So I'm going to set up my machine for a wide cover stitch. So I'm using the C1 and C3 needles. And I also have my chain looper set at cover stitch. And my needles are at Route 5. Okay, so how you want to set this up is first of all, I'm only going to put, you're going to use the table. And I'm going to set up the table so uh, I'm only going to put one screw in it for right now until I have everything set up. There are two screws right here on the front of this foot. Depending on what foot you use, because you can use this this binder uh, binder attachment with uh, the curved foot, the uh, your regular foot, the clear foot, the open toe foot, any kind of foot that you want to use that you need. And some of them are a little longer and a little shorter so this these screws you want it so that your the edge of your of the binder right here goes right up close to the toe of the foot and I'm going to tighten that down I'm not going to tighten this part yet so I'm going to thread in my bias and so I'm going to put the wrong side of the bias towards me. And it doesn't necessarily have to be bias. If you're not doing bias around a curve, you, it can be a straight of grain. And so I'm just going to use this to feed it through. I like to, wanting to go the wrong way. I'm going to feed this through about, and I'm going to pull that out about two inches or so, and finger press that down. Then I'm going to position, you have two needles here. I have the left and the right needle. I want that right needle to just catch the fold, just the edge of the bias, the, the fold on the bias tape. I think that's about it. Okay, now I'm going to line up this fold between the C1, uh, the C2 and C3 needles so that it'll give it a good catch. And I will put the other screw in and tighten it down. Okay, I'm put the press. Now I like the clear foot because I can see what I'm doing. With the regular foot, it's hard to see it. So I'm using, I'm just going to run a few tests. I'm going to just keep this. And you want to help pull it straight back so that, and you can see I'm catching it. It's hard to, well, here, I'll do some more. And see, I am catching the fold rather nicely. Okay, then I'm going to take my fabric. And I'm just going to put the raw edge of the fabric right against this plate right here. Sometimes it helps to raise the presser foot just so you can push it under. And you don't pull it, just evenly feed it through. I'm going to feed the other side through. Do this twice. this from here. And and see it does a beautiful job. And you have a cover stitch around the other side. The single fold bias binder comes in two sizes, one and one eighth inches or 28 millimeters, which is what this one is, and it also has a larger one which is one and five eighths inch and then that's 40 millimeters. 
and that's exactly now the size of the foot is exactly the size of the fabric that you need to cut so this one is cut at one and one eighth inches okay and now I'm going to set up my machine for a chain stitch just so I can create a seam okay now I'm setting it up for a chain stitch so I'm going to remove one I'm going to remove the thread from the right needle I'm going to remove this attachment and I just simply set this to a chain stitch my loop my chain looper I want to set to chain not cover stitch and I'm going to remove the needle from the machine Actually, I should have done that first because then I didn't have to worry about it falling. Got it. Okay. Tighten up the screw. Didn't tighten that one before. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to put these two fabrics right sides together. Hong Kong seams usually are one inch. So I'm just simply going to create a one inch seam. And about. Oops. Went too little. If I could sew straight. There's my seam. really makes see now it's pressed open and I have a really nice Hong Kong seam with the other edge nice and finished and therefore my so this is great on the on an unlined jacket so that's it for the um, single fold bias binder so if you have any questions contact your local baby lock dealer or contact us at attic treasures at 703-490-1536 uh, and hope you enjoyed this video. This is Jerry from Matic Treasures saying bye for now.